Mheshimiwa Rais, Makamu wa Rais ndugu Rigadi, Waheshimiwa wabunge wetu, gavana wetu, waziri wetu wa afya aliye hapa na viongozi wote tukiwa na management na waheshimiwa wakulima na wafanyakazi wa mjambo mlembe mlembe swa mlembe te mlembe mia mheshimiwa rais tulikuwa hapa mwezi wa nane tukafika hapa kama tumenyesha sana mkutano hakuenda sawa sawa leo tumerudi hapa kutembelea kiwanda cha nzoia kwa sababu it is in the hearts and minds of our people tumekuja hapa ili tujaribu tujaribu kuboresha hali wafanyakazi hali ya wakulima na kuleta pesa kwa wananchi Nzoya ina historia yake. Nzoya ina matatizo yake. Na Nzoya ina future yake. Vile tumekuja ndugu wakulima na wafanyakazi. Hakuna mtu hajui kwamba wafanyakazi wa Nzoya na viongozi wenu huwa tunashirikiana na kuwasiliana mara kwa mara kwamba kumekuwa na shida ya kuwalipa mishahara yenu. Tumemweleza rais na ameambia sisi ya kwamba tutakuwa na suluhisho. Tumekuwa na shida ya kulipa wakulima. Mambo ya debt right off. Mimi nilianzisha hiyo kwa serikali ya mzee Kibaki in 2012. Tukapeleka hoja kwa bunge na waziri wa fedha Robinson Kidai wakati ule at that time the debt was only 21.8 billion we wrote off the debt it was never removed from the books ikaendelea kuzaana mpaka ikafika 50 253 billion sasa hiyo imeondolewa kwa vitabu nzoya has a clean bill of financial health in terms of looking at its balance sheet security and zoya eco free us our only debts have been to the farmer na tunajua bila kumlipa mkulima hatutapata raw materials na namshukuru mheshimiwa hangata ametu brief ya kwamba tangu aanze kusiaga wale wakulima wameleta hii miwa hivi karibuni wanapata malipo in two weeks two weeks two weeks but we have the historical debts which you know ya kwamba serikali imetuma pesa inaanza kuingia kwa mifuko ya wananchi kizungumkuti tulio nayo hapa nzoia kwanza ni siasa mingi pili ni fitina mingi tatu ni sisi kama viongozi wanting to score cheap political points against each other mimi nataka kuwaomba ndugu zangu na tumemwambia rais na amekubali ya kwamba yoyote ambayo tunafanya lazima tuuzishe mfanyakazi tuuzishe mkulima tuuzishe mtu wa nok tuuzishe hawa bunge wetu mcs ambao wanahusika na tutaketi na viongozi wa serikali akiwa mawaziri so that whatever we do and we say kila mtu awe amehusika ameelewa anafahamu na hata leta fitina baadaye kwa sababu people talk people talk in discordant voices because of either ignorance or malice or both sisi tunataka kila mtu ajue ya kwamba nobody in his right mind can undermine nzoya nobody in his right mind can understate the importance of nzoya and nobody in his right mind can pretend that they care about nzoya more than others sisi zote 
Nyinyi wafanyakazi wengine ni watoto wetu, wengine ndugu zetu. We have struggled with you throughout and we feel your pain. Watoto wenu wanaenda shule hakuna fees. Kazi umefanya you have logged in and out for 24 months. But the president has come here because he understands and he appreciates the value of the people of Bungoma. Sisi watu ya Bungoma tulifanya kazi yetu kisiasa. Tulitembea na wenzetu kisiasa. Tulipika kura yetu kisiasa and we made a difference in this country. And that difference will now pay dividends to our people. And that's why the president with his many challenges this is the second time he's coming to Zoya in less than one year. Not because he has nothing else to do, but because he cares and he knows that if everywhere else counts, Bungoma counts even more. And he is going to talk to you and engage you. Kila mota elewe ya kwamba hakuna mutu mwenye niambaya katika Bungoma yetu. Hii shamba ya nucleus ni shamba ya serikali. Na serikali ichukua kwa mababu zetu. It's our ancestral heritage. Na kwamba whatever we want to do, we must take into account that the nostalgic effect that it will cause to us must be taken into account. Na sisi, kama viongozi wenu, nataka kuwaomba wabunge wetu, ma MCS wetu, governor wetu, come to the table when we are going to meet with the Minister for Finance and Agriculture and let everybody either say his bid or keep his school forever. Waja ni malizi hapa wanainji, humu sima, valimi, muhagiva hapu nzo heye fwe inotawe, it is your only cow that you can keep and milk. Ere jizende mufuko muomundu, arunge fisi yevana, alisi ye family, akende yesi hapo ni kane kongo mundu. Nesenga kiongozu wenye, I will never let you down. Neither shall I ever lead you astray. Neither shall I ever misadvise you. Neither shall I ever abandon you. You have made us where we are and proud to be what we are. We will stand with you and for you forever. Nikimalizia, niko hapa na wabunge, wacha ni waite wasimame, niko na mweshime wa malulu injendi, mubunge wa malava, malava also gross can that comes to Nzoya, niko na mweshime wa joni waluke, mwenye kiti wa wabunge wote wa western region, ambaye ni mbunge wa sirisia, na niko na majority leader, kimani ichungwa wekuja salamia dakamoja umetoka mbali,